press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to meet U.S. President Donald Trump in Washington today. Now, this will be the first meeting between Trump and Modi, seen here speaking in Washington during a visit last year. The talks are aimed at building a personal relationship between the two leaders, but as his first point of call in the U.S., Modi chose to speak to the business community in Washington. The heads of some of the top U.S. tech companies were present, including Google, Microsoft, whose CEOs are both Indian Americans. For more on U.S. Indian relations, I'm joined now by Constantino Xavier in Delhi. He's a research fellow on international relations at the think tank Carnegie in India, and he's a former researcher at the Brookings Institution as well. Uh, thanks for being with us this morning, Constantino. Uh, Modi has started his U.S. trip by reaching out to the business community. What type of deals is he hoping for? Hi, good morning, uh, Berlin. Uh, I think uh, the main issue for uh, Prime Minister Modi is to re-engage the U.S., and that has two different tracks. One is the business one you just mentioned. It's going to be very important to attract foreign direct investment from the American companies. There are around 500 investing in India. But strangely, it is more difficult to do business in India these days than in China. Uh, so that's a bit puzzling for many American companies who are trying to um, enter this market. The second track is one of defense and security. So there's some big uh, projects coming up for big defense sale, uh, sales from the U.S. towards India that has been happening for the last 10 years now. But uh, it seems quite uncertain now what's going to happen under President Trump and his sort of more uh, retrenched position in Asia. Yeah, I want to pick up on the defense aspect there. You know, the U.S. has a number of arms deals in the pipeline uh, for India right now. In terms of defense, to what degree do, do the strategic priorities uh, of the world's two largest democracies overlap? You know, where, where is there some common ground? There's been a lot of common ground over the last 10 years, and it's been a revolutionary relationship. Uh, in 2005, India and the U.S. signed a nuclear cooperation agreement, which opened up an exception for India to trade in commercial nuclear items. Uh, and that's for the last 10 years has gotten, you know, a lot of the Indians used to have the backup of the Americans, of the Americans pushing, uh, trying to support India's military modernization, trying to India do to the India do more in the Indian Ocean, uh, beyond its region in terms of its navy. Uh, and that is now has come to a halt with President Trump. So that's great. Some uncertainty, some concerns in India. And that's why this trip is so important. We have the prime minister of India who's been in power for three years now, uh, had an excellent relationship with President Obama, uh, trying to come to Washington, uh, meet President Trump. And I'm going to ask him, what role do you see for us in Asia? Do we need to continue playing this game? Do you want us as a strategic partner? Do you want us to play an important role in containing China? which is becoming more hostile and aggressive in the South China Sea. Uh, so that's going to be the real the question coming up from the Indians towards uh, the United States. OK, uh, briefly, if you could, Constantino, what about Trump's America first policy? Could that get in the way? Absolutely. So uh, you have uh, uh, this whole American perception that you need to keep jobs in the U.S. Uh, India is known for its outsourcing industry. So. Uh, several U.S. companies have taken tradition to come to India and set up shop here. Uh, you have in India also a very similar slogan by Prime Minister Modi called Make in India, trying to uh, start and, 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 bo and, and boost the manufacturing industry in India. So both of those are in clash. So you have an America first coming out from the White House and you have a, you know, a sort of a Make in India and India first coming up from India. And that's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out because... The U.S. has an interest in greater relations with, with India, but uh, mm -hmm. the uncertainty under Trump is c catching a lot of people off guard. Constantino Javier in Delhi. Thanks so very much, Constantino. You're welcome.